Now Trump and the Jews in Israel are tweeting that Trump is the king of Israel, the Messiah. This is because the Jews and a lot of Christians today believe that he's going to build the third temple. Well, that's not going to happen. That's not in Revelation. And Daniel speaks about Jesus' day. When Jesus says this temple, when you see the surrounding armies, he was talking about his day. In AD 70, it was destroyed. Now, some preachers preach, and I used to preach, that that was immediate fulfillment and a future fulfillment. So futurists believe that Trump is putting the embassy back in Israel, and that means that the Jews are going to start to start building this temple around the Rock of the Dome, where the Wailing Wall is, and then... You know, because that, then Jesus' words will be fulfilled that I will come in the clouds. But he also said that this generation will not die and see the second coming in his day when they surround the armies. But since that didn't happen, Jesus didn't come back. Christians don't want him to look like a liar. And now, if they go back in Israel and build that temple, uh, then Jesus will look like telling the truth. But Jesus was being optimistic when he said, this generation will not die. Because if he said, this generation is going to fail, you know, then he would have caused the failure. He would have taken the legs right from under all the Jew, uh, the first generation. And, you know, then we would have failed. But we failed on our own. Okay? And the Jerusalem temple was destroyed. It doesn't say it needs to be rebuilt so that surrounding armies can come. And then Jesus is going to come in the clouds. And this generation will see that. So, so like I said, since that didn't happen. So, the best thing is to put the Jews back in Palestine. Since World War I, the first war, the second war was World War II, okay? So back in Palestine, now the Christians today are so excited. You know, they got the wood, the concrete. They're going to build this temple, the third temple, and Jesus is going to come in the clouds. Prophecy is being fulfilled. You know, I don't know how many times I've said this. I said it more elaborate and more formal in my other videos at greatestonecommand.com. Uh, but it ain't going to happen. Trump is not the Messiah. He's more like an antichrist more than anything else. The way he acts. And when the temple's not being built and it's not built, you Christians who still support Trump and still support these pastors to teach this false misunderstanding, you're going to lose faith. Good. You need to destroy the beast with seven heads and ten horns. That's uh, Christianity. And they got the power from the dragon. That's Judaism. You see, now Trump is not going to fulfill that. It's not going to happen. So I'm glad God is using Trump to do all this because finally you people get away from all that, those false teachings, that false teaching about how God or the temple is going to be built and the Jews going to be in Palestine and they're going to be in a chance to get saved and Jesus is going to come in the clouds. He is going to come, but it ain't going to happen. So I'm teaching the, a better way at greatestonecommand.com. I read the Bible historically. Okay, and I know it's not going to happen. And then please go to my website and you'll see what's really going to happen. Trump is going to be removed. He's not going to finish. Okay, it's going to go green. It's going to go progressive. Okay, if you don't do it by faith, it's going to become out by force, by law. The Democrats are going to take over and then the independents are or we're going to go in that direction and we're going to make heaven on earth by law, by force. You're going to take away the guns. I know guns uh don't kill. People kill people. I understand that. But we need to do something about that and do it by faith, expressing itself through love. If you don't do this, then God's at work right now. He is going to change this world. Okay? Trump for a little while. I think Nancy Pelosi is going to be president because she's not running, but something's going to happen. It's finally going to happen. We're not going to build no temple in Jerusalem. Please stop that misunderstanding. Okay? Go to my website, greatestonecommand.com, and I will teach you what really is going to happen.